All right, good afternoon, everybody. You can see around this curtain, I see a couple of smiling faces on each side. I want to thank, obviously, Gail and Bruce for uh, opening up this beautiful home to all of us. Uh, obviously, Melissa and Jermaine, I see you, Terry, as well in the building. Um, I am smart enough to know that I may be the one thing standing between you and food. Uh, and that means I'm going to go very, very quickly to simply say, uh, that I'm here for two of my friends, um, two individuals who uh, y'all are really fortunate to have in this community. I got to know them on a national stage and was overwhelmingly impressed by their commitment and dedication to service, and quite frankly, by their love of the community. You've heard a little bit at, uh, of that on display uh, today. They are the only two people, aside from the university itself, to get me from Boston, where it is probably 20 degrees warmer, uh, oddly enough, than it is right here, uh, 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 but it is good to be here uh, with y'all today. I got elected in Tallahassee, Florida when I was 23 years old and uh, uh, served for 16 years there in municipal government, uh, most recently as mayor, and I don't care what the polls say. Uh, I don't care what the standing is at this point because as somebody who ran in a primary where I was never uh, higher than fifth out of five people uh, in the polling, the fact that we ended up coming in first uh, just as a testament to the fact that the only poll that matters is the one on election day. Uh, and what I would encourage is that um, both uh, Jermaine and Melissa continue to uh, show their passion, their commitment, their love. Uh, for the place that they call home. Uh, let people see that come authentically through them. Uh, and voters are smart. I know sometimes we question that when we look at the national stage. Uh, but the truth is, is I do trust voters at the end of the day, and I think that they're going to get a good read of, of, of both these candidates. And I think that this community will be so fortunate to have your service. Uh, and so I just come in, in testament to the way in which they represent this community on a national stage. Uh, and the way I believe that they will continue to, I think, push the community to higher heights, uh, but also uh, be really outstanding representatives of uh, the beauty and the charm, uh, the intelligence, the character, the history of this place uh, that uh, I'm visiting for the first time, uh, but I'm looking forward uh, to their future leadership. So uh, as my grandmama used to tell me, she said, bring it home. Uh, so I'm, I'm imploring you. Uh, to bring home uh, your, your passion, your commitment, uh, your ideas, uh, and your level of service to this community so that everybody, regardless of the side of town they live on, what census tract, the color of their skin, uh, what their mother or their fathers do for a profession, that they get to feel uh, your impact more deeply. I know you'll do that, and I'm trusting that you all will do what's necessary to help them get there so that they can render their service unto you. So I'll be at the university this afternoon. If you get time, drop by. I'll talk a little bit about the race and some other things. Uh, but in the meantime, write checks. Uh, it is a lunch and learn, but they need money uh, to get out there and run this race. So God bless you all. Wish you well and hope to see some of you later.